My name is Jonathan Gonzalez, alias La Bomba. I am the WBO Junior Flyweight Champion of the World. When I went, went to the gym, I saw my father hit the bag, hit the speed bag, and he said, oh, I see, I want to be like, I want to be like my father. Okay. Look at me the whole time. Yeah. Well, I have to look at you. Why? Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> the difference as a fighter, I have to put them not together to split them. He was the guy that made me um, who I am today. The best quality in training of Jonathan Gonzalez is that he's, he's focused and he listens to his trainer and he, do, uh, he makes sure he's do that 100%. Hey, hey, hey. I think Jonathan is strong in his heart. He got feeling that he could be a good boxer for a long time. He got a good movement of legs. He's a boxer that hit hard with the hooks and he always thinks yeah, he could be better than físico cardiovascular. The difference as a fighter, I have to put them not together to split them. Because I, got, I have to act like a trainer. It's, it's not easy. Because Pop is Pop's trainer, is his trainer. My father has been a machine all my life. He was the guy that made me um, who I am today. The best quality in training of Jonathan Gonzalez that day is his focus. He listen to his trainer, and he do. Uh, he make sure he do that 100. percent I think Jonathan is strong in his heart. He got feeling that he could be a good boxer for a long time. He got a good movement of legs. He's a boxer that hit hard with the hooks, and he always thinks that he could be better than his opponent. That's the best part that he got. Y soy el preparador físico cardiovascular del campeón Jonathan La Bomba González. La preparación física del campeón, obviamente, o de todo atleta de alto rendimiento, pues se compone de diferentes etapas. Eh, la primera etapa que siempre se trabaja con los atletas es fuerza, la segunda es la resistencia y la tercera es la velocidad. Por eso es que siempre uno tiene que trabajar con una fecha, porque en base a la fecha, pues tú puedes dividir las tres etapas en que se compone la preparación física para llevar al atleta a su, a su máximo rendimiento. Come June 24th, um, one of the, one of the, one of the, these are the biggest things that happened in my career. Um, I fought against Tanaka, I fought against Soto. Those two, those two fights took me to the next level. So we went to the level of the world championship fights. And I think my experience against these two fighters 
they are top top A plus in the, in the division. Do we have a new light flyweight champion? I think these two fights, the experience I did in these two fights, is gonna take me to the victory on June 24th. Like right now, we only got in Puerto Rico, we only got one box of Puerto Rican to live here in Puerto Rico. That is Bomba Gonzalez, 108 pounds, for his my weight. So I think he got a lot to show. I think it's going to be a good fight against um, Mark Barriga. I think um, it's going to be a big clash in Kissimmee. I think it's going to be a, a firehouse, man. I think there's going to be a war. I'm going to be very prepared for this fight. I hope he is too. Make this training different because we're going to fight a softball. And uh, we have to make sure to know his movements so we could uh, take the victory to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico and the Philippines, they are they match up fighting because they like Mexican and Puerto Rico. They come to fight. We're going to see a different Bomba Gonzalez in this fight. He's going to give it all. I know um, if one, two, three, four rounds is going to be a chess match. But I think for, uh, the four round up, the fight is going to be mine. My, my manager uh, called me in the Philippines that uh, uh, if it's okay with me to train with the former world champion, but here in Slovenia, not in the Philippines. And uh, I said, yes, of course, why not? Uh, he's a former champion and uh, um, it's, it's, it's normal that, um, and it's okay for me to, to, to train here in Slovenia. Where is it from? It's very hard to um, adapt to 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 train here because uh, it's uh, cold and uh, you know not the same in the Philippines and uh, I'm far from my family. But uh, as a fighter, uh, as an athlete, um, I need to do this because uh, this is for my family also. Your mind must be really strong, really fast for winning. Yeah, Here you start. You must think about it. It's not oh, just run. Push, push, push. That is good. That is good. Expect uh, this fight against uh, Jonathan Gonzalez. Um, uh, this is a chess uh, fight. Speed versus speed, power versus power, and toe versus toe, you know. I, I, I have a 100% belief in my, my skill. Um, I have a good coach, I have a good team, so we will see. You know, Gonzalez is a good fighter, 100%. Uh, he's a good fighter. But uh, on this fight, you know, we, we train hard on this fight. So I do everything and I will shock the world. The, the fans, all the Filipino, Puerto Rican, and all the, the boxing fans, um, please do support this fight and please download the, the app uh, Pro Box TV on App Store and Play Store so you can watch this fight. Uh, I think this fight is gonna be uh, Miguel Cotto versus Manny Pacquiao too. We would take that. There is no doubt about it. There is Mark. Anthony baby boy Bariga just turned 29 years old on June 11th Antonio his keys to victory. I just believe he got to stay in front He can't fall behind the champ and he has to match his intensity. I believe stamina and conditioning uh, Is his best victory tonight? We'll, we'll give him the best chance to win. He's gonna have to outwork and have better condition than the champ Gonzalez the champion his keys to victory to retain his title. Well, I think he has to uh, maintain control of the action, apply effective pressure, and counter punch. I think those counter punches be clean, effective punches. 
And uh, if he can land the right one, he might be able to finish this within the distance. The official introductions for our main event of the evening. Once again, we get it over to Mark Lichtenfeld. All right, ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, this is your Pro Box TV main event of the evening. Brought to you by Pro Box Promotions in association with Tutos Bala's All-Star Boxing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are scheduled for 12 rounds for the WBO Junior Flyweight World Championship. Your WBO supervisor is Gustavo Oliveri. WBO president at ringside, Paco Valcarcel. Your judges, Alexander Levin, Efren Lebron, and Rose Lesend. And your referee in charge of this world title contest is Sam Burgos. Introducing to you first the challenger fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with blue and red. He weighed in at 106.4 pounds. His record, 11 wins, just one loss. With that one loss coming in his first world title attempt, he has two wins by knockout from Panabo City, Philippines, the 2012 Olympian. Please welcome the challenger, Mark Da Baby Boy Barriga. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Wearing the red trunks with blue and white, he weighed in at 107.6 pounds with a record of 25 wins, three losses, one draw from Caguas, Puerto Rico. He is the WBO Junior Flyweight Champion of the World, Jonathan Bomba. gentlemen, remember, get the instructions in the back, obey my command, protect yourself at all times. Right here is good, right here is good. Touch them if you like. Let's go. Judge. 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 Mark Anthony Barriga Blue. said Mark. this is going to be Cotto Pacquiao 2. We'll take anything. In the corner. Anything after in that neighborhood. Like at the belt, gentlemen. Gonzalez Barriga for the belt. champion Jonathan Gonzalez in the red with blue trunks, red, white, and blue trunks for the challenger, the baby boy, Mark Anthony Barriga, Southpaw versus Southpaw. Right away, you notice a big size differential in the two fighters. Uh, Bamba has blown up way more than the Barriga. So we'll see if that comes to play later in the fight. And he did say he would do that earlier in the week. He looks much stronger. Yeah, I, I spoke to him on Monday, and he said he puts on a lot of weight after the weigh-in, and it seems like he has. Oh, 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 Barriga hurt him. Yeah. They both traded. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, oh Barriga changed. Yeah, quick hands. Yeah. yeah, Gonzalez actually landed a counter left hand over the top of the jab, and Barriga threw the right hook after that. Riggs seem to be sitting down on them punches more, like you said, Tom. <laughs> I tell you what, I learned a valuable lesson, man. I fought a guy named Eric Harder. I think he had about six KOs in 20 fights. But boy, I felt every punch he hit me with. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember those fights. Came back in the rematch, though. By Riga's lone loss. By split decision, unbeaten Carlos Lacona. That was his first fight in the U.S. tonight for the Filipino Olympian. This is his second fight in the United States. For Gonzalez, this is the fourth time he has fought right here at Osceola Heritage Park. And they're trading here in round one. Yeah, nice work by both. That body shot by Gonzalez, countered by a nice right hook to the head by Barriga. Crazy, 
as you see the guy with one knockout stalking the real puncher, you know? Yeah, the guy with 14 knockouts. <laughs> Gonzalez is a boxer. His KO percentage suggests the fact that he is a boxer slash puncher. 108 is home for now. He may move back up. Right now, though, the only thing on his mind, as he talked to Paulie about how he does gain weight, is to defend his Ooh. title. And I it's a what, formidable challenge. This one knockout kid is punching like a knockout knockout artist for real tonight. Oh, nice hook. Uh, Best punch it around there. Both fighters are very schooled, as you can see. Those amateur pedigrees. Pariga, the only Filipino to represent his country in the 2012 Olympic Games in London. He was headed to the 2016 Olympics. One fighter qualified ahead of him, so he turned pro. You see, does that account with a good left hand, but got caught with a right hook afterwards, knocked him completely off balance. And he landed a good shot too, but he got yeah. caught with the counter. I think he overextends on this counter. Maybe that causes, oh, that was a good right hook. He didn't hook. land a good right hook. He didn't get yeah. counted that time. Yeah. That one, he had his full weight on that one. That was the best punch of the fight for him. Yep. And the other punch, I think, was the best punch for of the round for Barriga. Yep. Ring Magazine has Gonzalez as the number two light flyweight in the world. Behind the ring champ, Hiroto Kiyaguchi, who we talked about in the last battle of 108 pounders. Bamba started boxing at age six. His family lived in the Bronx. His dad fought Golden Gloves. Jonathan said he watched, then participated. They moved to Puerto Rico when he was age 10. Good left hand by Bamba. The Borrego taking those punches is pretty good, though. Bamba's best performance may very well have been his last fight when he won the belt as the underdog against Elwin Soto. Split decision that went the full 12 rounds. And Dallas on the stalk this, this round. Last round he was on the back foot boxing on the on the outside. This, this round he's gotten more aggressive. He's been backing up Bariga for the majority of it. He got a nice check. Yes, check right hook. Yes, he does. There it goes to the body. Yeah, and that weight's starting to play a factor. Bariga's left hook can be sneaky fast. Gonzalez has scouted against that. Uh-oh. Oh, good body shot. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Like Gonzalez is trying to make an attempt here to, to start to boss the fight in the second round. It's There's the some ear. blood. I don't know if it's on the ear of of uh, Bariga. On the, on the left ear of Bariga, there's some blood on the top of it. I don't know. I don't see no headbutt or anything. Yeah, that's an awkward place. Yes, on the ear, apart from the right hook. Gonzalez, the only Puerto Rican champion right now. Many believe he deserves to be on that list of most prominent Puerto Rican boxers. Names like Edgar Berlanga and Xander Zayas. A win tonight would certainly elevate his status even more in the eyes of all. There's a cut in Marega's head, it looks like, in his gap, yes. Good kind of left. I like his style, man. <laughs> He's slick. Bariga's idol, our own Juan Manuel Marquez. And you'll notice he fights on his heels from time to time. 
similar to Ooh. our Hall of Famer on the Spanish side of the broadcast. Those first two rounds were very close. I yeah. mean, yeah. both guys doing good. Yeah. Ayo, Dele. Ayo, Here we see the heads crash right there. That could have been where the cut came from. And then right there, yeah, right there we think that's exactly where we think the cut may have come from. We don't see a beat yet, but that's, that looks like the place. Yep. Round three. Gonzalez going right to work. It's been a perfect night for Puerto Rico so far in our Puerto Rican celebration this evening in Kissimmee, Florida. Oh, and Bamba nice. finish it in fine fashion. Well, Mariga has a nice timing shots, but Gonzalez he seems to get right through them. And for one knockout, he throws some real velocity on those shots. Yeah, ooh, but it's not affecting the aggressiveness of Gonzalez as he keeps coming forward. Good shot selection by Bariga, though. Low blow, but he got his head pushed down. He got his head pushed down. Riga acknowledges it. No fue intencional. Okay, está bien. Un golpe no fue intencional. Un cinco minutos, okay. Ref telling uh, Gonzalez he has five minutes. Tiene cinco minutos. Tiene cinco minutos. It's okay, Mark, but you got to keep him up, okay? It's okay. It's okay. It was definitely unintentional. Yeah, he got his head pushed down. Yeah. When you're going for the for a body shot. Tiene hasta cinco minutos, okay? Me deja saber cuando estás listo. Let's see. Let's see. Barriga owned it immediately. Apologetic, unintentional. I know, I know. Unintentional, it's okay. Gonzalez is cornered, telling him to take the five minutes. I mean, one straight to the cup, it hurts. Yeah. It really does. It's like you hit, you're getting hit with ready, several body ready. shots. They take your legs from you. It be a little worse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying, but I'm just saying. Depending on how good you wear your cup. That's right. right. That's right. <laughs> Another good hook. Man, Bariga just snaps that jab out there. Bam. he can box and I also said that I want him to be a little bit more aggressive if you want to take this title tonight and I yeah. think he's doing that well he, he went to Slovenia to train as we saw the feature leaving all of his comforts of home as they say he, my dad used to tell me get out of the comfort zone yep oh, has done shot. so in this second opportunity to win a world championship I would just have him cut the ring off a little bit because you see he starts falling him instead of cutting the ring off. And we can do this dance all night. Yeah, Bariga. Bariga's defense has always been very impressive. The offensive output is what we're looking for more of here tonight, right, Bray? Yep, that's what we're looking for. But Bamba doing a good job using the Puerto Rican uh, boxing maneuvers with, with his legs. He's boxing beautifully with his legs right now. And this is what you like to see. This is what, in my opinion, the Puerto Ricans are known for. Puerto Ricans unbeaten so far tonight. Rivera, Gomez, and the Lopez brothers. All victorious. Limpio, limpio. Stop, stop. Don't throw. Let him go. Let him go. Don't throw. Step back. Keep it for Puerto Rico's mom was ill back when he fought. 
Lacona in 2018. And Mark Anthony took some time off to tend to his mom. She is now looking down upon him tonight with another title yes, opportunity segundo, ten seconds. in front of him. At the bell, gentlemen, la campana. Gonzalez cannot let Gregor uh, have this much success. He's Come on. Against the ropes. He's going to he's gonna have to put some pressure on Antonio, that's what you talked about in your keys to victory is you can't let Barriga get started to fight this fight at his pace. Yeah, because he's normally a, 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 a conventional boxer puncher, but now he's being the aggressor. He's got his back to the ropes. He's got Gonzalez back to the ropes. And if he does that for the majority of this fight, I mean, you got to lead to him. Can't check right hook. Bariga has a sharp check hook. Yep. That's his pounded punch. Good shot to the body. Good, shot. good body shot by Bariga and a counter to the head by Gonzalez. Very skilled fight from both yep. guys. Yep. again by Baby Boy. Smile on the face of Bariga as he heads back to his corner.
see Gonzalez misses with the jab. And he holds on to gets up, you know, Maria gets underneath the shot, but Gonzalez uses the same hand to kind of hold on to his head and hit him. Right, I mean, it was right in front of the ref's view. I mean, I, I can't see how he didn't see that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not a foul if you don't get caught, I you suppose. You got that right. Or if the ref doesn't care, at least. <laughs> Bamba has grown up in the ring since his first swings and misses at title opportunities, winning on his third chance, looking to defend his belt for the first time here tonight against Mark Anthony Bariga, who is in for his second world title opportunity. And even when the punches miss with these guys, they just miss. I mean, both guys are fighting a sharp fight. Both guys are dialed in, is what oh, they yeah. are, Roy. They're dialed in, aren't they? Big time. And they're missing shots that are, are only a fraction of an inch off the mark. Shots that were probably in the fight. That's when you know you got two sharp guys. Great main event thus far. Coming off a crazy co-main event. And a great night of fights. Here on Pro Box TV, it's what we're all about. Good slip. By the fighters for the fans. And we're back one week from tomorrow. Is it midnight yet? Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Thank you, Roy. I was just checking to see if it was Saturday yet. To see, to see if it was two weeks in a day or two weeks. But we'll be back July 9th. I wanted it to be one week because I'm just going to miss you guys so much. <laughs> We're going to miss you too. I want to be one week because it's an awesome fight that we've got. You yeah, got Cesar that, right? Francis versus Ray Beltran. Cesar Francis was in a barn burn with my fight in my mom, uh just last, I, I mean, was it all, when was it? Whatever it was. Yeah, about a month ago. Yeah, about, a month, about two months ago. Uh, broke broke his jaw and uh, my mom is healing, but I want to see Cesar what he does next. Yes. And that fight was very controversial because went either way. So I want to see what he does with Beltran. Flash your heads here. Yeah, tell your friends, guys. ProBoxTV.com. $1.99 a month. Don't miss that fight. Go be a good one. And then the following month, we have the continuation oh. of the last chance tournament, which was a barn burner in the quarterfinals. And in one of the most vicious knockouts we've seen this calendar year from Kendo Tremendo. Round five, scheduled for 12. WBO World Light Flyweight title on the line. Got some rough stuff going on in there now. A lot of it. Barriga, the Olympics in 2012, national team coaches said, stay here, stay here, before turning pro. Doctor is checking on the aisles. Gonzalez, yeah. Gonzalez. Okay. Looks to be okay. Bamba continues. Bamba represented his home country of Puerto Rico at the Olympic Games in 2008. I'll tell you, Gonzalez likes to touch and explode. <laughs> he gives that quick touch and then he goes right after him. 
Red and blue for Gonzalez. Red, white, and blue for Barriga. Southpaw against Southpaw. Round six. Gonzalez trying to take the play away from Barriga now. Using bigger weight. Hit him and then jump on him physically so that Barriga can't counter with those sharp counters. Oh, good have body, body shot. shot though, Roy. Oof. Speaking of not being able to counter, I guess Barriga decided, let me try to the body instead of the head. I think Gonzalez now is going to try to force his will and try to back up Borrego a little bit here. Both guys exchanging This is body shots in the center of the ring. Barriga likes to have that front shoulder prominent as his blockade. But offensively, he's put together some good work thus far in this title fight here on Pro Box TV. Oh, nicely done. Snap the jab right into the chin of his opponent. Bariga trying to answer with the one, two. That lead uppercut set that up. Now I can see the little nick on Gonzalez's eye on the right eye. You can see it a little bit now. In the eyelid, in the eyebrow. In the eyelid, yeah. Which is what the doctor was taking a look at. But great corner work. We haven't seen it bleeding or, or, or going into his eye at all. So they, they took good care of it between rounds. Gonzalez would do it much better when he pushed the issue like this. Yeah, I, I would, and I was just going to say, Roy, that when Gonzalez waits, that just gives Bariga a chance to go into his speed zone, right? Exactly. And he's ready to go right into it. Oh, Bariga yeah. has some good feet, man. You can see his feet never stay still. He's always moving. Him. Yeah. And that's what Cordova couldn't use in his fight. The right his feet to get out of trouble. Yeah. Good job. Left hand. Good left hand by Bariga. Yeah. All right. Hey, sometimes you, you know, a counter is when you make a guy miss and make him pay. That time Bariga took the jab and still made him pay. Tranquilo. Relax. Punch me. I'll punch you back harder. Yeah. Carga, 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 carga. Halfway point of the fight. Come on. Come on. I'm not even going to suggest scoreboard. Eyes by eyes. Hey, y'all learned y'all listen. Uh, I was thinking the same thing. I was about to ask you guys. And I'm like, you know, nah, like, we'll just leave it to you know, that other force of nature. <laughs> Vegas saying he's got to get past this theft before he takes about his next fight. Our main event continues. Come on, guys. Come on. Mark, Mark, now in the back of the head. Let's go. Let's go. Gonzalez digging into the body. That's it. Uh oh. Got hit, but again. Yeah, well, you know what? Gonzalez sometimes flies in too quick. And yeah. almost, it's almost like a kamikaze missile, man. And sometimes that, the clash of heads actually winds up hurting him worse. Yep. Good counter by Bomba there. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Dallas aggressive. Not it's landing not, a lot on that aggression, though. It's size advantage is what he's using that old. Yeah. I'll tell you, though, Bariga's slick, man. There's he's hard to hit clean. Yeah, he is. And the headbutt that we saw, unintentional. Open to cut a bit, but certainly unintentional, much like 
the low shot that landed from Bariga. The clash of heads. But these guys are just so dynamic, so explosive. Limpio, limpio. And the fact that it's called from an, it's been ruled an unintentional headbutt means if they stop this fight on that cut, it will go to the scorecards. It will not be a TKO. Yes. Limpio, limpio, no? Let's go, gentlemen, let's go. Vamos, let's go. Stop, stop, stop. Round seven, scheduled for 12. Oh. Barriga was leaning forward off balance. Gonzalez couldn't get in quick enough. And Barriga, quick with that little short right hook that he counters with. Better believe it. Gonzalez is going to have to start being a little bit more deceptive on his attack. He's getting aggressive, just not that deceptive because Barriga's seen a lot of what Gonzalez is doing. And it's not allowing Gonzalez to be as effective landing as he'd like to be. Gonzalez got to come in behind that jab instead of just trying to yeah. set him up with one big shot. Yeah, he's trying to force his way in, use that size, but he's going to have to be a little more deceptive. And both fighters early on look very slick and technical, but as the fight goes on, it looks like they're losing their little form a little bit. Fatigue yeah. will do that. <laughs> Tough round to score like this. Yes. You okay? Yeah. All right. Let's win this title. Let's win this title. I use young young. I use young young gun. I use young young run. Huh? I use young young run. Atuana ni. Huh? Jab tapir ni. Ayo, ayo kumjan sa. Mudul kasa, mudul kasa ya. Ayo pun dosa yang mawala kesumbang. Ini mesti balikan Mike. Oh, fikir balik. Kita balikan stage. Ayo nampak. Timing lanta, timing lanta. Huh? Timing lanta. Bad. No no, ayo. Huh? Mana ni? Nana tadiri. Parani kay mama. Huh? Brother Saddam Bariga in his corner. Let's go, coach. Gonzalez Bariga. Gonzalez looking to defend his title. He is the only Puerto Rican to hold a world title. Bariga trying to take it away. Yeah. Along with Superman, the Hall of Famer, Roy Jones Jr., the Magic Man, Antonio Tarver, Paulie Malinaji, Mike Goldberg. Great to be here again tonight on Pro Box TV. Entertaining fights from start to finish. We promise to bring you more of the same on July 9th. Yeah, very rarely did you get two good fights at this weight class on the same night, you know. Mm. You have to search for good fights in this weight class. We've had two really good fights at this weight yeah. class on the same night. Again, the check by Barriga. Using the momentum of Gonzalez against him. The only thing is, Paulie, he's not following up with that. He's landed one check hook, and that's it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And that's not, that's not going to be enough to take the time. Unless you can knock him out with one. Yeah. I do like the fact that Barriga has been able to back up Gonzalez a lot in this fight. It's still a competitive fight, but for the guy with only a couple oh. knockouts. They landed some heavy blows right now. That's a good counter by Barriga there. And that's where Gonzalez, that's why Gonzalez has not been able to land clean, though. He's trying too hard to load up. He's, it's almost like he's getting frustrated. And he's going to load up more and more. Well, that movement is definitely bothering him. That movement by Barriga is definitely bothering him. They got strong warnings now from the ref, both guys. I don't know why Brugge keeps trying to touch gloves. Gonzalez is not looking to do he's anything to take he's advantage of every round. He's doing that every, yeah. every round. Gonzalez is looking to just take big advantage boy. and hit him. Yeah, big boy too nice. That's what I can't find. <laughs> the touch of gloves is the start of a combination for Jonathan Gonzalez. <laughs>
as fatigue sets in oh. let's see whose form that can puzzle. stay sharper and and more to fashion roy because the way they came out they both looked like they could not miss now that it's slowing who will take over in these late rounds exactly Nicely done. That is what they are fighting for. The WBO World Light Flyweight Belt. The champion Gonzalez, the challenger Bariga, round nine. Bariga getting a little bit meaner now. He's learning. Yep. There's a fight, not a, not a hockey match. Let him go. Speaking of hockey, Tampa forces game six. Yeah. Back at Emily Arena, winning 3 2 in Colorado tonight. They don't go away, those guys. They do not go away. I love it. The Abs winning in overtime the other night. These men ready to work full time all through 12 if they need to tonight. Yeah. My girl's got a good body shot, too. And a nice answer by Barriga. Yeah, you're not going to get a lot of sympathy from the referee. He doesn't call many fouls. <laughs> And speaking of hockey, I've never gone to a, a, a Tampa Bay Lightning game where they lost. And and I'm going to uh, press the button Sunday night, so I'll be at the game. So you're, <laughs> so you're telling me there's going to be a game seven? It might be. All right. All right. So we shouldn't mention that Roy went to game four, right? I ain't going to game six, though. I don't want them to lose. <laughs> Oh, guys, looks like we got a fight for that in front of us. Oh, good shot. Both oh, guys trading their shit. They bang it right now. Hey, piece. Oh, ripping up the body. The shots there. Both shots. Tacticians turning into terrorizing men hungry to leave a champion. Both guys missing with the left hand, but they're throwing them. There you go. Oh, good combination by Bumba. Go to a hockey game and a fight breaks out. <laughs> you came to a boxing match and a fight, a fight broke out again. You got that? That's a good body shot. Dallas is bigger weight now. He's starting to impose himself a little bit more. That's how you like to see the champion fighting toward the championship yeah. rounds, putting the pressure on the on the challenger. Oh, good try. That was Whoa. nice timing. Whoa, good, good he, he try. Was, I, don't, I don't even think Gonzalez made a miss it. I think Bomba just, I mean, he really just missed it. He just missed it. That's all. I'm sure, he didn't step in enough with it. Oh, he ain't going there. Gonzalez teeing off again. Good round for Bumba. Come on, 
llena, 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 llena. Tiene un cotón morado. Tiene un cotón morado. Vamos a trabajar. Brad, tiene Brad, Chapin, se pregunta Brad. Ok, saca un esfuerzo, tú la tienes, no lo dejes pensar, no lo dejes pensar. Lo pusiste para atrás y lo dejaste. Vamos a trabajar de abajo para arriba, de abajo, de abajo, ok. Vamos, tienes que sacar una vez. Sí, pero diga, está bien, todos a parcha. Caiga, caiga, vamos, caiga. Vamos, 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 Just got to keep fighting till the bell rings. Round 10. Close fight. Good round nine turned in by Bumba. Looking to hold on to his title and remain the only Puerto Rican world champion. Okay, Barriga, Barriga getting a little mean. I told you, yep. he's learning tonight. He's getting a little nasty, isn't he, Roy? Yeah, he is. That's where I like to see Bumble, though. Got pressing, pressing, pressing. Putting the challenger back to the rope. And also starting the combination to the body when he traps Buriga to the ropes. Exactly. Buriga's very slick to the head. But when he's got nowhere to go, you trap him on the rope, start the combination to the body. It'll be more effective, and that's what he did about 15 seconds ago when he had Buriga against the ropes. These are the championship rounds, so it's a way to fight these championship rounds. We're going to see which fighter takes control. Ooh, nice shot. It was a ringing left hand. I would have liked to have seen his straight, though. Straight, it would have landed. Yeah, much more effective, too. There he goes. Starting to diminish a little bit. Yep. These championship rounds for you champions, you feel the difference. You feel that sense of urgency, don't you, Roy? Well, it's not really a sense of urgency. You feel like this guy's not been here as many times as I have, and go. this is my domain, you know? As you start to, if you're really a champion, this is where you feel like you take over at. Antonio, I'm sure you agree, and that is what we are seeing Bamba do, exactly what Roy said. Well, he you knows he's going to have to put more pressure on to uh, sway the judges, you know, because Marega has had some, you know, a lot of success in the center of the ring. But I believe it's only the champ has Marega. He's a 